y'all. Welcome to Ms. Clark's chemistry class. I am here to help make sense of everything you've been learning in class. In this lesson, we're going to talk about balancing chemical equations. This video specifically tips and tricks for those difficult, hard to balance chemical equations. So if you're just starting out, back up a video and go check out my intro. Or if you're trying to take the word equations and write a chemical equation, that's the next video. Okay, are you ready for some tips and tricks? Go get your notes and let's get started. Let's just go ahead and jump in and do some examples. And every single time we have to use a tip or a trick, I'm going to point it out to you. Again, I'm going to keep using the chart method. If you don't like the chart method, that's okay. Do something else. But I think the, char the chart method is the best place to start if you're a beginner. So I'm going to separate my reactants from my products. First tip. If you have hydrogen and hydroxide together on one side and you have water on the other, it's going to be easier if you rewrite water to say HOH. -H. And we're going to carry that polyatomic ion over. We've got hydroxide right here. We have hydroxide right here. That's going to match up. We have hydrogen right here. We have hydrogen right here. If we would have left water, water, we would have to break it into H and O. This way, we can match these groups. We've got hydroxide and hydrogen. Okay, let's start writing this down. I've got one sodium, I've got one hydrogen, and one hydroxide. If I go to the other side, remember, keep it in the same order. Sodium, I've got one. Hydrogen. We've got two, here I am right here. And then hydroxide, we have one. So our hydrogens don't balance. So if we put a two here, now I've got two hydrogens, but that did affect my OHs, so I'm gonna put a two here. Now I messed up, I fixed my hydrogen, messed up my OH. As Soon as you mess something up, let's just go fix it on the other side. So I would put a two here, that would give me two hydroxides, it did, it messed up my sodium. Let's put a two there. And then let's immediately hop over and fix that. Let's put a two here. Okay, we've got two sodiums, two hydrogens, two oxygens. We're good, we look at our coefficients, two, two, two. And if it wasn't for that one, that's that one keeps us lowest whole number ratio. So that tip was when you have hydrogen, and OH on one side and water on the other, rewrite water to say HOH. -H. I'm gonna draw my line down. To be honest with y'all, I'm looking at this and I don't know what tip I'm wanting to talk about. So let's just go with it and see what happens. So I've got two silicones, I've got two hydrogens, and I have two oxygens. Let's go to the other side, keep it in the same order. Silicones, I've got one. Hydrogen, we have two. Oxygen, this might be it right here. Oxygen is split into two different places. We've got O2 plus O. So two plus one is three. We have three oxygens. Now my tip here is if you have an element in one place on one side, but split up into two or more places on the other side, save that letter till last. So we're going to do oxygen last. Let's start with silicone. I've got two silicones in my reactants, so I'm going to put two here to get two silicones in my product. That also affected oxygen, so I'm going to go ahead and tally it up. Two times two is four, plus one is five. And now we have to do our oxygen. So let's think about this. If I put something here, that's also going to mess up my hydrogens. But there's nothing that I can put here that'll multiply by two that's going to get us five. So I'm kind of stuck. This is gonna be two tips in one. When you get stuck, take the coefficients that you've already written and we have only written one and we're gonna multiply them by two. When you get stuck, multiply the coefficient that you already have by two. Now let's readjust. We have four silicone. 
We have four times two, that's eight plus one, that is nine oxygen. Again, we're gonna leave oxygen till last. Let's just keep going. We've got four silicones here. Let's make there be four silicones here. So I'm gonna put a two here. That gives me four silicone, but it does mess up my hydrogen. Two times two, I've got four. Let's go fix it. So I would have to put a two with H2O. That's gonna get us four. Okay, we've got to do oxygen now. We've got four silicones. We've got four hydrogens. Let's finish up with our oxygens. Let's check this total over here. We've got four times two, that's eight, plus two, that's 10. We have 10 oxygens over here. Let's go to the other side. Oxygen is just in one place right here. And what times two will get 10? That's right, we're gonna put a five. So we have two, five, four, two lowest tone number ratio. This tip was two and one. When you've got oxygen or any element, but oftentimes it's oxygen, and it's all together on one side, but when we go to the other side, it's split, do that last. Second tip, if you get stuck, multiply what you already have written by two, and then keep going. Just don't give up, keep going back and forth. It will work out. I've got a few tips and tricks on this one. First, let's notice I've got hydrogen and OH and water. So remember that from the last time, we're going to make that be HOH. I also want you to notice that we've got sulfate SO4, sulfate SO4. So when we start listing these out, I'm gonna keep my polyatomic ions together. So I'm gonna list aluminum, hydroxide, hydrogen, and sulfate. I am going to keep SO4 together as a unit because it stays over here as a unit. If you have a polyatomic ion that shows up on both sides, it's much, much easier to leave it as a unit than to separate it into its parts. So over the other side, we've got aluminum, hydroxide, hydrogen, sulfate. Let's count these up. On my reactant side, I've got one aluminum, three hydroxides, two hydrogens, and one sulfate. Since this is not in parentheses, we only have one sulfate. In our products, we have two aluminum. Oh, look, we've got three sulfates here. And then we have one hydrogen and one hydroxide. We might as well just start with our aluminums. We could put a two, two aluminums, and now we have six hydroxides. Since we messed up hydroxides, that's what I wanna go fix. Six hydroxides, oh, but we messed up hydrogen, so let's go ahead and fix it. I've got six hydrogens over here. If I'm gonna get six in reactants, I would just put a three. Now I've got three sulfates, three, but let me go fix it. Oh, it's already a three. We fixed our sulfate. Aluminums, we've got two. Hydroxides, we have six. Hydrogens, we have six. Sulfates, we have three. Our coefficients are in the lowest whole number ratio. We're good. Remember, this tip was two, two tips in one. If you have a polyatomic ion, leave it together if it's on both sides. And if you've got H and OH on one side, go ahead and change that water to H and OH. That kind of goes right along with leaving polyatomic ions together. Here's another one where we can leave polyatomic ions together. So we have iron, we have two of them. Let's leave sulfate together because it stays together on the other side. We have three of them. We have one K and we have one OH. It's okay to leave our sulfate as sulfate and hydroxide as hydroxide because they stay together on the other side. So iron, Y'all see my typo? Let's fix that right quick. That's supposed to be iron right here. Okay, that's good. So iron, we only have one. Sulfate, we also just have one. Potassium, we have two. Hydroxide, we have three. 
Let's just start right up at the top. We've got two irons on the reactant side, so let's put a two. Now we have two irons. Oh, but we have six hydroxides now. So since we messed up hydroxide, let's just go immediately and fix it. So let's put a six over here with this hydroxide. Oh, but we messed up potassium. We have six potassiums. Let's hop right over to the other side and fix that. Three, that gives us six. Oh, that messed up our sulfates. Let's fix that. A three, let's go to the other side to fix it. Oh, we've already got a three. Two irons, three sulfates, six potassium, six hydroxide. We're good. Okay, so that is my tips and tricks for balancing with polyatomic ions, acid-base reactions, and when the balancing just doesn't work out the first time. I hope that helped. Until next time, bye y'all.